profile. So in this video, I'm gonna upgrade some of my electronics and my remote control cars. So in a minute, you'll see that these cars here did have 27 megahertz, 40 megahertz gear in. I'm now upgrading them to 2.4 gigahertz. So the items I've got, I've gone for is this one here, cost um, um, just under 40 quid. Flyski GT3B, programmable for 10 models, which is what I wanted so I can program obviously 10 models, but I'm planning on programming sort of four or five models I've got. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to run these. For the, it was my first um, 2.4 gigahertz receivers. So I've got the um, FSGR3E. Uh, one of these comes with the transmitter and then I bought a couple more of them, which I think they cost nine pounds each from eBay UK. So that's much cheaper compared to 27 and 40 megahertz a ACOMS receivers which are, you know, um, are probably double, double that for a used one. So yeah, this kind of looks like the way forward. So yeah, watch the videos now and you'll see me transfer, transforming this one from 40 meg to, to 2.4 and then this one here also from 40 meg to 2.4 plus this one here, which was had nothing in apart from a 27 receiver in it um, and there's put the bits and bobs in it and there as well. Cool, nice one, cheers. Yeah, so it's February 2021, so what I thought I'd do is upgrade uh, the Avanti. So I've got um, got a few a few Avantis. Um, currently, they're sort of running different types of receivers, like just whatever I have, you know, whatever I've had around, whatever I brought that's been cheap, you know, over the years and years I've been collecting stuff. So this, this one here, for example, has got a 40, a 40 megahertz ACOMS. It's a 40 megahertz in this one here. There's a random high-tech 27 in this one. Most of the other ones I've got are 27s, basically. So it's a couple of 40s. Most of the ones are 27s. But I've now realised, of course, the 27 megahertz, you know, is, is, is obviously old-fashioned. Everything now is 2.4. Um, better reception, all this sort of stuff. You know, so what I've decided to do is start to gradually upgrade my Tamiya's um, to 2.4 gigahertz. Um, so I'm not doing all of them, it's just gra gradually, you know, because th these ones here, these fly skis, um, again, I've not, I've only just started using these, sorry, and literally like yesterday. And these are like something like eight pound ninety nine each, versus an old fashioned Acoms like this, you know, tends to be sort of twenty quid for a second hand one, that sort of price. And then you talk, look, talking on, on top of it, crystals on top. I know I can swap crystals over, but to be honest with you, I, I used to sort of like, you know, having a, a set of crystals in all my cars, and I just, then I just flick over the one on the transmitter to whatever car I was using. But now these sort of crystals here, I've looked online and generally they're about 15 quid for a pair of crystals. So clearly it's just cheaper to upgrade to these, they're lighter, more modern, better and all that sort of stuff. The trans, So I finally brought myself a new transmitter. So my, this is my um, first ever sort of purchase of a 2.4 other than the one that came with my FTX truck. So this one here cost um, 35 quid. Flyski, um, it is a GT3B. I really like it, it's got an aerial on it there, you can program 10 models on it, good reviews and all that sort of stuff. I've only really, really used it really briefly to set up the Tamiya Comical yesterday with it. But yeah, it looks cool. Um, I've also managed to find um, these which will cost um, £17 off eBay. So they're the, the latest Tamiya speed control that comes with most things. They do brushed or brushless. Obviously all, 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 all my stuff currently is brushed still. But I might try a, a brushless car at some point, you know. Um, I'm old fashioned, you know, I just sort of collect 80s Tamiya's plus literally that one random FTX there. So everything obviously is technical, pretty much technical for me is, is my thing. But I'm definitely up for trying and experimenting with the cars and trying some sort of um, brushless motor for the first time ever. I'm still running um, nickel metal hydride packs. I'm not I'm going for lipos or life, what, life fires, whatever they're called now. So yeah, nickel metal hydride is, is, is definitely my choice for the foreseeable future. But I'm definitely up for trying other things in terms of electronics and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to transfer uh, all of this, actually, all, all literally all three items um, from my main Avanti, which is this black one here, um, into this one here, which um, is a nice Avanti, but it needs tyres, it needs, you know, bits and bobs, all that sort of stuff, just min minor things. But this is the one I want to run. This is the one I'm not particularly going to run. So you know, I love the 40 megahertz stuff, stuff in there. Use that on there occasionally. That'd be cool. This one here, and then I can experiment with the 2.4 gig, um, the new uh, electron speed controller, and the fact that I rebuilt the motor as well um, re very, very recently. You know, so and I've just say painted the driver yesterday as well using um, nail varnish. Um, so yeah, nail varnish like a quid a pot, 
and um, it looks really good. And I've, I've got stickers to put on, but yeah, that was literally a quid of pot. So I needed like three different colours um, there for that. So yeah, so that's cool. So let's have, a, let's have a go at that, swapping these bits and pieces over, and then we'll see how it sounds and all that sort of stuff, just for, for purposes now. Um, switch on the 40 megahertz, switch on this little baby. Let me just make sure. That's actually really good. I mean, I don't know if that's a particularly good server or not, but that's, that's obviously I've cleaned the mechanism and steering mechanism on it, you know, and tightened it up and greased it and all this sort of stuff properly. But that's just a really nice mechanism, I would say, you know, as far as advantages go. Normally, you get, normally, I would say you get, because of course the age, you know, people don't take care of them, all that sort of stuff. You know, there's quite a lot of play in this section here. But um, I did have a few new bits I had lying around from, you know, what I purchased years and years and years ago. So I did replace a few bits and bobs, you know, yeah, so that, that's really nice. Yeah, and that's just, um, as far as I know, it's just a standard servo, just in good condition, that's all. Standard vintage servo, I should say. Pretty much everything I've got, apart from this electronics, is its old stuff. Cool, there we go. Right, I'm going to lob in the new stuff now, and then we'll do a film once it's in. Thank you, cheers. Right, yeah, part two. So here we go, so it's in. So yeah, it looks good. So obviously it's very small. Um, what I had to do with the uh, connector on the end of the more vintage servo, is basically had to file down because basically because this connector here is actually quite significantly fatter than a modern connector i'm not sure how many you know what part of a millimeter it is but you know it's probably a sort of you know a good sort of millimeter millimeter and a half that kind of thing so basically you can't you can't get both in together it's just too close so you have to file it down so what i did is i used um a dremel just with a small file on it and managed to file off you know a fair bit of both sides on that um, and that way it went in nice and ni nice and firm, nice and easy. So yeah, put it in, um, neatened up the wiring here, and put the obviously on and off switch here for it. And this looks pretty deep. This all looks pretty decent. Yeah, and it all looks good. So I just just bound it, nice, really, really easy. Really nice, really, really nice. Yeah, somebody re exceptionally pleased with that. So that's cool. So obviously, I need to try it, of course, but I don't see any reason why it won't be absolutely spot on. So yeah, I'm going to try that later on. So in a minute, I'm going to now put the um, transfer the other gear. Um, this one here, actually, because it's an older unit, and I did old school stuff basically, is I wired the speedo straight to it, uh, to sort of an old school technique we used to do, you know, just to, I guess, to make it a bit more efficient who knows you know that's what that's what the logic was behind that back in the old back in uh the 90s anyway but who cares what that's all about that's going go in there now and that's cool um and then i'm going to then put in another one of these speedos so another one of these receivers another one of these speedos in um one of these other um avantis here so i've got avanti 2001 a, a regular original avanti and another original avanti but this one here's actually had what they call upgrades as it were so they've actually gone to up upgraded things like the arms and the front to 2001 spec so yeah it's quite um sort of amusing you know but you can see that the Vantio one has the suspension etc at the back and uh this has it this has it forwards on here so yeah someone's upgraded that at some point right cool so i'll put that back together again now that's basically all sweet. I tried it out. Got the transfers to do on this. I'm going to try one transfer because I believe the transfers I've got are originals from 88. And I've literally got a cut out of the transfers for the driver. And I know that when I did the tank, I put them on. And then, you know, 10 minutes later, once it dried out, they literally just pit, literally just fell apart, obliterated into, into my hand. Where obviously they were just knackered, you know, old, too old. So I'm going to cut out one transfer, put it on. And if, obviously if it sticks and it's sweet then I'll um, obviously soak all the other transfers and put all the transfers on. It'd be nice to use it, you know, there's no point in just keeping a bunch of old transfers. I'd rather just use it, but, it's, but, but if I know that it's not going to work, obviously I'll um, lob them in the uh, in, in, in between the manual and store them. So yeah, next up is this one here. Back onto the um, 40 megahertz stuff, potentially. Cool, cheers. Right, yeah, part three. So now this one here is done. So what I decided to do on this one here is to retain this 27 megahertz um, and then put in the um, the old 101 speed controller with the technical that's wired direct to it. Um, so that's cool. 
that all looks all looks good put the switch here. i haven't got a drive with this one here unfortunately so tires are basically bold knackered but that's fine and you know, you know this is kind of just like you know a future sort of project it's clean and all that sort of stuff but it's, it's a future one but yeah that's that's now on attached to a battery give a bit of an old school oh let's switch it on first of course there we go Obviously, you can see there's a lot of play in this one here, but all the um, this one has been repaired at some point. You know, it's all just a bit loose and all that sort of stuff, and there's quite a lot of play actually on the wheel itself. Um, so yeah, it's, it's even some mega wear. I mean, the um, the disc is actually is tightened up, but that's something that I'll look at now. Right now that the thing runs, you know, I can then have a look at that because this one here is not too bad. This one here is definitely something that's not quite right there. It just sort of. It's just a lot of play. It might just be that it might have been broken in the past, or there's obviously play in the linkage and stuff here. So yeah, that's just all good. It's all good. It works. That's the main thing. Cool. And so it sounds really fast, and basically I can use it, but obviously I will investigate investigate that wheel. I'm not too happy on the um the wiring. Just of the sort of curly techniques, it looks a bit messy. So I'm gonna look at that later on. I might even just might even just straighten it and cable tie it. So I'm not not sure. It might look better than just cable tied, but again, minor thing. It's just it's just wiring. But obviously, it's nice to get it looking sweet. So yeah, that one there's that one there's done. And what I've decided to do actually, I've decided to um, change this one here to 2.4 gigahertz. This is actually one of the trucks. So one of the cars I use a lot. This is, you know, I've just put, obviously I've just put some new um, tyres on it, you know, um, normally they're completely bold, but yeah, this one's the one I actually use a lot, because this is so quick, it's running the um, standard technicals and all that sort of stuff, so what I've decided to do is, um, currently it's running a 40 meg underneath there, and absolutely nothing wrong with it, but if I can ch I'll change it over to 2.4 now, so I can run these two cars on 2.4s, and that way I can stop having to sort of uh, swap batteries over on you know the four the four the four so the 40 megahertz with the 27 you know i can just then i can just can off the 40 and lob those into storage sort of thing and now i've got you know 27 megahertz transmitters for some of the cars i've got the ftx truck uses a 2.4 because you, you can't program this electronic speed control and receiver to anything else i believe and um, then i've got my, my, my 2.4 new ones for my other cars so it just means three transmitters rather than four transmitters. Cool. So yeah, you only crack on now with this one and go from there. Nice one. Oh yeah, that's the next one done. So yeah, just installed another one of the fly skis in there. Um, all looking good. I'm running this uh, particular speed controller, but binded it. So I bound it really, really easily, really easily, like seconds, a second to bind it. So yes, that's technical power on that one. So yeah, that is sweet. So I'm going to neaten it up now, put it back together again, um, put the shell back on. Then that, I think, is cool. Um, loving all that sort of stuff there. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with all this. You know, I think this is um, a quality quality controller. One thing I would like to say, actually, um, I don't know if it's possible, but you can. it appears you can only put in three, three letters of, of what you call the model. It would be way, way, way better if this was smaller and you could put in, you know, like 10 characters. Of course, I put in Dragon, DRA for Dragon, but when you have like the Avantes, I've got like you know, when, when you've got like, a number of cars, you know, you have to call them, you know, maybe AV1, AV2, or AVB for, a, for Advanti Black, or AV Red for a Red Advanti. So, I don't know if it's possible or not, but I'm gonna have a look into that and see if it's possible to get that smaller and have more characters because that would be a much better touch. Otherwise, I'm really impressed um, with this. Um, I can use it for the, the um, Lunchbox Comical as well which is cool which is um pretty decent so far so yeah all is good so yeah, let's crack on now and see what we want to do next thank you cheers